The FAA have signed Mosaic, but what is Mosaic? And why is this important to Archer and Joby Aviation? Guys, my name's Liam, and I'm one of the Hossel brothers here. Over the next few minutes, we're going to find exactly what Mosaic's final rule is and why this is important to the VTOLs. So make sure to bang that subscribe button because we run eVTOL Weekly every Thursday at Close and Bell. And on a Sunday, we run an eVTOL fan club live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. But jumping into what FAA Mosaic is, we can see that it's the modernization of special airworthiness certification. And in summary, the FAA is amending its rules for the manufacture, certification, operation, maintenance, and allocation of light sport aircraft. The amendments enable enhancements in safety and performance and increased privileges, increasing the sustainability for flight training and personal travel. So it fits the bill of eVTOLs. The final rule also amends special purpose operations for restricted category aircraft, amends the duration, eligible purposes, and operating limitations for experimental aircraft, and adds operating limitations applicable for experimental aircraft engaged in space support vehicle flights to codify statutory language. We're going to break it down into less jargon and more everyday words. So what is changing with this mosaic rule? So since the category's introduction in 2004, the light sport aircraft category has been designed to promote recreational flying, given access to new aviators through the sports pilot license. It's cheaper to obtain, completed in weeks, and there's no FAA medical. The SPL has proved popular with hobbyists and those taking the first steps into aviation, but pilots have been limited in their choice of aircraft and when and how they can fly. So under this new mosaic, light sport aircraft will now be heavier, so the 1,320 pound weight limit will be replaced with performance-based criteria. They'll be faster. LSAs will now be able to fly at 250 knots. They'll be bigger, so fixed-wing aircraft can now have four seats, allowing SPL qualifications still only allow one passenger to be carried. And they're going to be different. More types will be included in the LSA category. Helicopters, power lifts, gyrocopters, and guys, electric aircraft. But then I want to find out exactly what Joe Ben has had to say about this and what this means for both, not only Joe B, but Archer are going to be in there as well. So Joe Ben has been quite quiet on X over the past year or so, but he did put out on his personal account that the FAA mosaic has been signed and he expects it to be the most important accelerant to the aviation innovation in his career. And it's a huge moment for aviation in the US and here is why. So around a decade ago, the FAA modernized its rules to create a path for the modern commercial air taxi industry a move that ensured companies like Joby Aviation and guys Archer Aviation could lead the world in the adoption of the new ways of flying that are faster, cleaner, and quieter than ever before. So today, the FAA is creating a similar pathway to unlock personal aviation. And in doing so, it's laying the groundwork for flight to become a daily feature of people's lives on unprecedented scale right here in the US. Alongside the FAA and their commercial partners, they're making incredible progress in certifying their air taxi to support that journey they've built, the world's leading vertical integrated next-gen aerospace company. The Mosaic rules create an incredible opportunity to introduce new personal aircraft, new propulsion systems, and a new way of flying that will radically change how we live and travel. And at Joby Aviation, they're perfectly poised to capitalize on these opportunities. Guys, could you ever see yourself buying your own personal eVTOL? And is that something you honestly believe Joby Aviation will provide the own personal eVTOLs? So they've built the team and the technology, the platform and the software that will enable them to move as rapidly as these rules develop. They're also excited 
about the potential for this to create a whole new generation of pilots and mechanics to support the air taxi industry as it scales. And I think that was my most important takeaway from this. If you get it being much easier for these pilots to obtain their license and to be able to fly different types of aircraft, won't that inspire people to follow a career in maybe the air taxi industry? You know they're going to be crying out for pilots. We've seen in my video yesterday that Adam is expecting up on 10,000 um, aircraft flying around different cities. So if there's 10,000 aircraft, there's 10,000 pilots needed. Joe Ben is grateful to Portus, Secretary Duffy, USDOT, and the FEA for continuing to champion US innovation and the foresight they've shown in bringing these rules forward. He's incredibly excited about what's to come next and is confident that even if they can't see it right now, they're already in the next golden age of aviation. Now, where it gets really interesting is we have Joe Ben getting excited about this influx of aviation news coming out. Archer have been quite quiet about this mosaic deal being signed. Could you see Joby venturing further into personal EVTOLs as well, where we see Archer Aviation actually pushing for that defensive side? After yesterday, we've seen that Adam say that the defense side could be the central part of the business for the next 10 to 15 years over the actual air taxi side of Archer. And if you haven't seen that, make sure to check that out next. And then meet me later on for EVTOL Weekly.